So um, in a case of an emergency, one of the things that we're trying to do uh, is create the upper limits for the city council, uh, for, the, for the mayor and the city manager as part of the emergency management ordinance. These are the powers that are laid out in the law and then we've adopted them as part of our code. Um, the city has had these emergency powers in place for the city manager since 1993. So they've been in place, they've been adopted by the city council. Um, it's currently right now, during an emergency, the city manager could say, we're not gonna have gun sales, we're gonna stop liquor sales. Uh, this is just vesting that same power in uh, the mayor. So that's the reason why we're doing this. So it's, it's really trying to align those services um, are those powers and duties that the mayor has under state law with our code of ordinances that we have here in the city. And how long is it going to last for? We heard it balances between a week, So, days. So the, the emergency declarations that the, that the mayor issues are for seven days, and then they'll, they'll be re-upped. And then we come back and we'll provide a report at the next city council meeting about what actions and activities took place during that period of time. And any, any spending that, that the council may have to approve would be at that point in time. And there were some discussions. We kind of were hoping it would be a quick yes or no decision, but there was a lot of discussion about it tonight. What was the concern? Well, I think ultimately, I think what, what you heard tonight is the, is the concern from the council about what is the role that the council plays during an emergency. Uh, and if you look at the emergency operations plan, if you look at the Illinois Emergency Management Act, there really isn't a direct role for the council to play. The role the council plays is one of being the, the power of the purse making sure they have the oversight over how the city spends its funds. So as we come back during an emergency, this provides the latitude for the mayor and the manager to make decisions that we have to do during the emergency, but we still have to come back and present that back to the city council. Okay. So, so this only lasts for a, this, I thought this will last for 30 days well, that, or up until the next me meeting. The, 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 the ordinance says 30 days. The mayor has the has has to set an emergency declaration for a seven day period of time, and then it can go forward from there. That's the that's the rationale behind it. So he may have uh, during that thirty day period he could have four or five emergency declarations, but it's it's only good until the next city council meeting, which when we meet every uh, or twice a month, uh, we it usually should be two weeks, and we should be back in front of the council. So the ordinance that he passed or the declaration that he made on the 18th is now expired and the, tomorrow. There'll be, a, there'll be a new declaration signed by the mayor for tomorrow. And what does that mean for the, for the, av for the average per person? It just means that we can operate under that, that section of the, of the ordinance and of the statutes. Um, if we need to spend beyond our purchasing authority, we can do that. If we have to um, ask for additional resources to come in from the state, we can do that. Uh, those are the, the rationales behind that. There's really nothing more to it than that. It just allows us some more flexibility in how we operate. You um, heard a lot of the, of the um, con con comments that were ma mailed in or whatever because folks can't be here. Mm -hmm. Folks are very scared of this. They feel... What do you say to uh, that? I think that we've had the, the power in place for the city manager to exercise those responsibilities over the six times that we've declared emergencies since 2006, and that hasn't happened, and it won't happen in the future. Why? Because we live in uh, a, a country that, is, that has respect for law and, and respect for the rule of law, and we're gonna continue to do that. This is not, this is not a power grab. This is simply a situation that says, here's the limits of the mayor and the manager's powers in the time of an emergency. That's it. Thanks. Mm -hmm.